so excited to have you with us tonight. It's a good group of people. <laughs> Would you like to have a seat? Thank you. I'm excited. I would like to call to order this meeting of the support group for people who have nothing wrong with them. I'm Fred, your moderator. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. And I'm happy to have a new member with us tonight. Will everyone please welcome Mary? Hi, Hi Mary. Hi. The purpose of this group is to learn to understand that it's okay to be okay. There is nothing wrong with you if you don't have anything wrong with you. Being normal is normal. Yes. We might have a hard time relating to our peers when they come to us with their problems because we don't have the same frame of reference or feel the need to tell them we've had it worse. But together, we will find a way to get through it. Mary, would you like to jump right in and tell us what's not wrong with you? If it's okay for me to go first, sure. Everything is okay here. Nobody has any problem with anything, right guys? I'm not sure where to begin. Just speak to us as old friends. It'll come naturally. Well... I'm single and about to turn 40, and I don't think it's the end of the world. If I find a man and get married, that'd be great. If not, I'm fine with that. I'm just as happy when I'm alone as when I'm with other people. I know Bill is in a similar situation. Would you care to share some of your story with Mary? I was single most of my life, but knew I'd meet the right person in time, and sure enough, I met Nancy. She may be the one, but we're taking our time to get to know each other, not rushing to get married. You know, I'm not a sexaholic, so monogamy is fine. All because I didn't date out of desperation. I never date out of desperation. Mm. If a guy rubs me the wrong way, I end it. I'm not gonna try to change a man or let him treat me badly just because I don't wanna be alone. Is your biological clock ticking? Yes, and the alarms are going off, but I keep hitting snooze. <laughs> <laughs> if I sleep through my chance at motherhood, it just means I wasn't ready for it. It'll happen when it happens, even if I have to adopt. Some of your friends must be having children. Yeah, but I don't sit at their baby showers and cry because I don't have kids or complain about having to buy presents for their weddings and baby showers. Other women would. I really love spoiling my friends and their families. <laughs> it gets worse after you have kids. Other parents either brag that their kids are perfect or cry that their kids are troubled or sick. My kids are average, and that's okay. And I have no urge to beat my children or get drunk to forget them like some other fathers. <laughs> <laughs> Was your father a drunk? No, my parents are good people. Yeah, they had their arguments, but there was no mental or physical abuse. My mom doesn't guilt me, and they're not pressuring me to get married or have kids. They support all my choices. That's great. What else isn't wrong with you? <laughs> I'm in perfect health. I don't have any mental disorders. I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. I'm not a shopaholic or a hoarder. I don't own cats. And I'm not a lesbian, and I'm proud of it. Sounds like you handled the problem of not having problems very well. I try. It gets worse after you get married. My friends complain that their husbands are abusive or cheaters or have lost their sex drive. My husband, Steve, is my best friend. He treats me with respect. And I don't get paranoid if he thinks another woman is pretty. He's not going to cheat on me. How can you be sure? Because he's my husband, and I trust him. Why isn't he here? Does he have something wrong with him? No. Support groups aren't his thing. For all you know, he could be with another woman right now. Now, now, we're not here to fabricate problems. Pretending there's something wrong with us is not a way to help. <laughs> so, where's your wife? She's been here once or twice. Really? I've never met her before. It was before your time. <laughs> I've been coming here for years. Have you told Nancy about this? No. Why not? If she's the one, she'd come here to support you. I'll tell her in time. <laughs> okay, okay. We're here to talk about who's here, not about who isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think my Steve would cheat on me? Anybody could cheat on anybody. We may think we have no problems, but maybe we're just blind to them. Nobody here is blind. Do you really know everything your kids are up to? Of course. But you're not with them every minute of the day. They could be smoking, doing drugs, or having sex. Not my kids. <laughs> Do you think my kids are doing all that stuff? 
Everybody's kids are doing all that stuff. It's all part of growing up. But it's not technically a problem. It's a part of life. If they develop lung cancer or a drug addiction or a teen pregnancy, then it would be a problem and their parents would have to leave the group. I wouldn't want to leave this group. Nobody's asking anybody to leave. But, but I don't know anything about Nancy yet. She could be an alcoholic or a nymphomaniac or, or a Scientologist and then I'd have a problem. And I wouldn't be able to come anymore. But she may be perfectly normal. Have you thought of that? I can't risk that. I'm going to call her on the way home and dump her. Calm down, Bill. There's no need for that. Yes, there is. I can't take the chance of her giving me problems. I'm going to dump her and then never date again. I should call Steve right now and see if he's home. No, that is not a good idea. Yeah, he could have his mistress there. In my home? With my kids there? You never know. I'll kill him! No one's killing anybody. Murder creates way too many problems. But what if Nancy's a serial killer? She's not a serial killer. Why would you even think that? I've heard about women serial killers. They get more victims because guys don't think there are female serial killers. And what is your source for this information? Source? Who needs a source? Female serial killers are a fact of life. Yeah, a fact of my very soon-to-be-shortened life! Bill, you must stop thinking like that. The solution is for Bill to dump Nancy and have an affair with me. That is a terrible solution! It could work! I just hope Nancy isn't vindictive enough to kill both of you. Steve may go crazy and try to kill me! Well, Steve won't go crazy! Are you sure? A studies say that some people don't go crazy until well into their middle ages. What studies? I have never heard of any studies like that. Crazy Steve could be home with his mistress beating my children! He's probably <gasps> drunk, too. Nobody is drunk. I could use a drink. There's a cool little bar on the corner. Let's go get a drink after this. Is this over? No! This session is not over! Nobody is having a drink because we are not going to use alcohol as a crutch for problems we don't have. Nobody's cheating. Our loved ones all love us. Nobody's crazy or a serial killer. Our kids are all good. Everything's okay! Okay? Okay. See, Mary? We don't have any problems. I can see that. It's just... What? I've got problems. Lots of problems. No, no, you're doing great. You don't have any of the problems other women in your situation have. But I do. I do. I'm so lonely. I want a husband and kids. At this point, I'm ready to grab any random guy off the street just to father my children. The only guy I truly love is Brad, but he's gay. I know I could change him if I just lose 30 pounds. I'm starving myself to get to my goal. Brad is a meth head. But I know I could change that too, or at least turn him onto vodka. That's my drink. <laughs> but I only drink two or three martinis a night. I do drink on my lunch break, but it's only because I hate my job so much. I thought by 40 I'd be a successful businesswoman, not a glorified receptionist. Oh God, I have done nothing but make bad choices. <laughs> <laughs> we are very lucky to have an example of a person with problems with us tonight. This is a great opportunity for us to attempt to comfort her. There, there. Good work, though. There, there. <laughs> there, there. there. <sighs> now, would you like to try to add in a little understanding? Oh. Um. Let's see if I can do this. I know it's tough to be single past 40. I've heard about such things on television shows, and it sounds very sad. I feel your pain. Very good. Oh. Sarah, 
Why don't you try to one-up her? This could be tricky. Okay. If you think you've got it bad, you should be me. My husband's gay and told me he's leaving me for another man. Really? No, I'm just making that up to comfort her. <gasps> oh, and he got his new boyfriend pregnant. Wow. <laughs> Great work today, people. We can end this session early. Oh. I can't oh. wait to go home and tell Steve about today. I'm going to call Nancy and comfort her over the phone. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs>